At 11, families in Shaker Heights are voicing their concerns about the future of their school buildings. The Board of Education is weighing how to balance upgrading Shaker schools while preserving their history, which dates back generations. News 5's Catherine Ross shows us why the process has been filled with emotion. As the clock ticks on decisions to upgrade Shaker Heights schools, emotions are running high. You know this town and you know its history and you know why it's important and you want to take that away. The Board of Education's meeting agenda did not include a decision about the district's long-term facilities proposals, but the meeting included plenty of opinions about it. Those four options were not one, two, three, and four. They were bad, worse, awful, and you got to be kidding. A plan about how to improve the district's aging buildings and accommodate changing needs has been several years in the making. In July, the administration showed this presentation, and we found it on the school board's website recommending a proposal to reopen Ludlow Elementary School, repurpose Boulevard Elementary for pre-K, and turn the land containing the high school and Woodbury and Onaway Elementary schools into a middle and high school campus. It breaks my heart to think that this school would be torn down and replaced by something that looks like it could be anywhere. After a similar public outcry, the district changed course. Instead, the board is now looking at options to renovate its current elementary schools, renovate or rebuild the middle and high schools in their current sites, repurpose Woodbury Elementary for district offices, and pursue universal pre-K. We have to develop a plan that the community itself will also support because they have to vote for it as well. Because of those complex thoughts, feelings, and emotions, the board plans to take a step back on its current proposal, but the board president says doing nothing is not an option. If our schools don't support the type of education that our students are going to have in the future, then we're not preparing our students for the future. Now, the board had originally been aiming to make a decision about its master plan by September 5th, but after discussion here, it's looking more likely that they won't meet that deadline or even a deadline to get a measure on the ballot in May. The superintendent will come back with a more realistic timeline at the next board meeting. In Shaker Heights, Captain Ross, News 5.